What is up YouTube? It's Paracelsus here going over some bullshit right now. So this morning uh, there was a little backdoor update for GeForce Experience and uh, it was about 28 megabytes or some shit like that. I don't really remember specifically to be honest with you. I was just fucking around with it long enough to notice that it was fucked up. So what happens is uh, if you reboot Steam or if you log out and log back in, whatever you do, at some point you're going to have a system state change and that's going to trigger it and uh, your rift will not connect you're going to have a HDMI problem so the other problem with this is if you ins if you reinstall the oculus software from a backup that you already have on your hard drive or something like that it's not going to work either they're the sneaky little fuckers so what you got to do is uninstall oculus software uh, before you freak out and unplug everything and do all that fucking physical hardware nonsense it's not going to help you at all so just so here's what you do. Uninstall Oculus software completely. And if you've got any kind of Oculus drivers that are third party or you're using the runtime thing, uninstall anything related to the Oculus. Just do it through control panel. And then what you want to do is uh, <clears throat> go into GeForce Experience, open that shit up. Open it up. It's going gonna, it's gonna to give you that update. That shadow uh, backdoor is going to trigger that update. It's going to do a GeForce Experience update. There's a problem a lot of people have. Check this shit out, okay? This is how you know if you're affected, all right? Just to show you, I got three green right there after a day of having bullshit all day long. Couldn't get it on. Said the HDMI was not connected, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so here's what we're going to Here's what I want to show you. This is how you know if you're affected by this, all right? Look at my look at my graphics driver in my system. Okay. See that? Now look look at this. Right? Why not? Why no virtual reality? Why? Because it says check this out. It says that you need a nine seven year higher. So this has always been fucked and dodgy for me since I got this computer. It's a cyber power, all right? But I have a friend who has a 1080 and a 1050, same thing, and he has the same shit. So it's something to do with Windows. I don't know. We both live on the West Coast. Maybe there's some, like, localization shit going on there that is just weird or with the NVIDIA files, but that will always be like that. If you have that problem, you're going to get HDMI disconnects. That's not really a problem. But when you see this problem... Or if you're getting the Steam VR failure, it says it keeps opening and launching, opening and launching. Same with the over uh, the uh, OVRS service from the X64 process on uh, Oculus and the processes or whatever, all that shit that runs in the background. That will continuously try to restart because it's working. Everything's working. So if you've got the problem, it means that everything still works. It's just, they updated drivers, there's some kind of discrepancy, and this is the way they do it. Steam will communicate to NVIDIA, NVIDIA will communicate to Oculus, Oculus is owned by Facebook, so they can't fucking do anything basically, right? And then, uh, they'll all just go about their business, and so what happens is, basically, uh, more than likely, Steam will do their job first, because they have the most money, and they're most competent and accountable, then NVIDIA will do their job, and actually get all the drivers and all the chipset uh, software issued out, right? And then Steam will eventually kind of regurgitate that through the VR process host, and then that VR process host will run, and it'll fuck up Oculus service, because Oculus and the Facebook people are complete retards, from what I hear and from my own experience. So uh, go ahead and uh, just go through that process, and you'll be... Uh, Ready to rock. So, just to restate, get the problem with the HDMI connection. What you want to do first is unplug everything. Then, uninstall Oculus software. Then, run GeForce Experience. That will give you an update. Then, after you're done with that, restart your computer. Then, this is very important, key feature, when you come back to your computer and after the reboot and everything's good and running right and you minimize your midget porn uh, you want to go to the oculus website do not use the setup 
file from a previous version. Go get the fresh one from today because it's updated and there are problems with that as well. I did tests with that. My backup one plugged it back through, did this whole process, same problem. The fresh install uh, setup file that I got today worked right out of the box 100%. I didn't even need to plug the USB cord in first. I plugged the HDMI cord in because that's a, a hardware way to know if, you're, if your cord's fucked. Uh, sometimes it can piggyback on the USB signal for the power at least. So you'll get some kind of false uh, hardware test. So plug the HDMI cable in first, you get the green light, you know everything's cool. At that point, you're basically waiting for this to fucking happen again because there's no uh, communication between these people and uh, they don't really give a shit because they already have your money. So that's just the truth of the matter. Hey, this is Paracelsus. I hope we'll... Uh, this helped you out today and uh, you can get that shit working right um, other than that hopefully posting some videos up here in VR but every time I go to fucking play or fly or do anything I've got problems I had to do reinstall Windows 10 a couple times already shit is ridiculous shit is ridiculous I hand these people stacks of money and this shit will not work consistently for uh, any amount of time you know other than like Logitech you know Logitech's good to go x56 Headset, webcam coming soon, I bet. Oh, no. Hopefully, y'all doing good out there in YouTube land. Uh, other than that, I hope, uh, you know, everybody's having a nice day. If there's any kind of uh, questions or I was rambling quickly or I was mumbling or I didn't speak clearly, just let me know in the comments. I'll try to go back through. Uh, I know a lot of people are having this problem for sure because I was Googling around. Uh, but then, thankfully, I'm a hardware specialist and I was able to figure it out. Holy shit, there's other things happening too. We're going to continue testing the environment to see if this is going to reoccur. Uh, hopefully I don't have an update later. But uh, as for now, everything's working. I'm going to get the setup running, get the remote going. And uh, things that are looking good. But I'll fuck them up if they aren't. And I will let you guys know about it. So just get back to me in the comments if you have any questions. Otherwise, you know, tell me to go fuck myself. Dislike the video unsubscribe it's all good baby